So this is the sap that Oliver has pressed from the leaves and this is um, this one is cocktail grapefruit old. We're going to uh, be measuring it with the Horiba um, meters. And a few drops, make sure they cover both electrodes. And a few drops on the next one. And sometimes you have to share the drops around because you won't have enough sap to, to go through along all the instruments. And turn them on, really important. There, so the pH will come up and then the potassium level will come up. We see the happy face, so it shows that the pH is 5.47. We note that. The next one, 2,100 for the potassium. Then we spread the sap to the other meters with the uh, pipette. Turn them on. And I'll do the calcium in the middle once these ones are ready. So the Na which is the uh, sodium, is 38. And the nitrate is 820. Then we move this to the calcium meter. And be really careful when you're using the pipette not to touch the electrodes because that will really damage them. Okay, so we wait for the smelling face to read the calcium. And while that's happening, you can get your Brix meter. And this is very special because you don't want any air bubbles in this and you need about two drops. So hold it straight level and get two drops there. And then, so you don't get air bubbles. It's really important to hold it up Keep this straight and just drop it. And then move the sap around so that it covers the panel. <clears throat> it may take a little bit of time. While that's happening, the calcium 4,200. And to get your reading for the bricks, which is the... Um, sugar and calcium is it's good to bring it up to the light so you can get a reading and it's fuzzy or straight and then parts in between so it's so on a range of one to five one being straight and five being fuzzy so you um, have to judge that line so this one's 12 it's really in between fuzzy and straight so I'll put it at a three And that's how you do it. Oh, then cleaning, yeah. Be really careful on how you clean the meters. Um, you're using, of course, distilled water. And you have to clean them and dry them without touching the electrodes as well. Um, and then you put them away, turn them off and put them away, dry and clean. careful along the sides.